You ever pop your hip when you're trying to push a heavy box with your foot? <laughs> anyway, um, I need to clean out my garage today because, because I'm wearing freaking eyelashes first of all. Like what? Who do I think I am? I just like went to Walgreens to get a couple things and I saw these and I was like, maybe I'll be a different person today. And I'm wearing them for like an hour and I'm like, I don't even think I look good. <laughs> and they don't feel good. So you know what? I can't even. Probably not supposed to do that, but. Ow! Oh my god, this one's like. Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna rip out my eyelashes. Oh, I just ripped out one. It's not so bad. Jesus. Anyway. <laughs> um. Something so exciting. I have to clean out my garage because. You can't see it. I got, <laughs> I got a wheel. <laughs> I don't know why I was like acting like I was gonna reveal it. Like it's really heavy, it's in a box. Um, I got a wheel. I'm so excited. I have not thrown since pre-quarantine, March. And I'm so excited. I really I have dreams of like throwing in here, throwing in the backyard, just moving my wheel around, AKA Ted, moving my wheel around so that I can throw wherever my heart desires that day. I've kind of got it all set up here in that it's not set up at all, but I have, we got some shelves, some like industrial shelves where I can keep my work and tools and things like that. I have a table here so I can wedge, but it's kind of a mess. There's sawdust everywhere from building my makeup table and I need to clean that up. I need to clean up everything, frankly. So that's kind of what I'm gonna be doing right now. You guys, there's mouse poop. It could be rat poop. I'm scared. If there's a rat in here, I'm gonna fucking put it out. Now I feel like it's just watching me, like waiting to just jump on my head or something. Okay, I'm gonna keep cleaning, but if I see a rat or a spider or a mouse, I'm gonna be deceased, officially. Okay, both of my vacuums are dead and um, the sun's starting to set, so I think I'm gonna call it a day, but I did one half of the garage. This is some stuff that we still have to go through, so I just kind of pushed it off to the side, but I have my whole area set up. We've got all of like shipping boxes and materials down there. These shelves ready to be filled. I have all my glazes and tools back there. And then this half, I still need to tackle. But I got rid of all of the cobwebs and I didn't see any mice or critters. So that's a good sign. So yeah, I'm gonna call it a day. I'm trying to get better at piano. And I'm trying to practice for like an hour a day and my back hurts. 
I learned Moonlight Sonata today. <sighs> I'm having trouble. I'm determined to get it. Haul time. Um, okay, I want to show you some things. Um, got a few new things, not a lot, but I just got this package in the mail, so I thought I'd open it with you. Um, it's from Skims. So I needed a bra desperately because the underwire of my last good bra just popped out. And by good bra, I mean $20 from Target. Haley, my BFF, um, just got a bra from Skims and she said it's like the best bra she's ever had. So I thought I will try it. So I got this bra. This is like a nicer version of the bra from Target. <laughs> wow, bras can be nice. <sighs> okay, who would have thought? Um, yeah, it's unlined with just the underwire, which is just how I like it. Cute, this is called the, um, let me see. Fits everybody unlined underwire bra. That's kind of a terrible name if I'm being honest, but um, really cute, so soft, oh my god. Okay, and then, because, you know, I was already on the website, couldn't help myself, I ended up getting the cutest underwear, which is also something I needed. Um, so I got three different pairs, look at these. This looks really long, but I think they're just high-waisted. These are so, so, soft they say like skims all over it and like you know little print but i find that to be stupid i wish they were just plain but you can't really tell like you can't see them it just looks like a pattern but i just really loved the high cut like i love like a bikini high leg cut and this little bow like ugh. i don't like sexy underwear like to me this is sexy when it's like cute and kind of retro like that but still like in that kind of more sexy cut so I got this color I got pink and I got just plain white so so excited about those um, okay so what else I wanted to show you was what I got from the lobby this month I'm obsessed um, like this might be like my favorite the, my favorite stuff that I've gotten 
Okay, maybe I'll save that for last. <laughs> it's looking so exciting to show you. Um, okay, so you've heard me talk about it a lot, but if you're new, the lobby is an online retail boutique that has some of my favorite brands, some of the best, in my opinion, indie brands, and you can try before you buy. So you can purchase whatever you want, and then they don't charge you for 14 days. So you have time to try everything on, see if you like it, and then if you don't, you just send it back, or if you do, you just keep it, and then they charge you um, after 14 days. So if you want to try it, um, there's links down below, and there's a coupon code for you as well for your first order. So I got these girlfriend collecting co girlfriend collective leggings i have two pairs of shorts from girlfriend collective and i've worn them off and on but i've never had the leggings and oh my god i literally wore these you saw me wear them yesterday you saw me wear them in my last vlog like i literally have worn these almost every single day so i am now putting them in the wash for the first time <laughs> these are just like their classic high-waisted leggings and I got the size large. These are the most comfortable leggings I've ever owned. And I love this color. It's like a moss green. Um, so cute, so comfortable. I now want like a bunch of different colors because obsessed. Okay, the next thing I got, oh my God, guys, is this not the cutest sweater? This is by Paloma Wool. I'm so happy because I've always wanted something from Paloma Wool. They're one of my favorite designers. I love their stuff but I've just never had anything. And I wish you could feel like the texture of this sweater. It's like weirdly like silky soft. It's like thin, but sturdy. And I think it'll be so cute with jeans like tucked in and like some boots. Obsessed. The thing I saved for last. Oh my God, you guys. Look at this cute purse. When I saw this, I gasped. Look at this, it has like it reminds me of like the 90s or like those like purses you'd get to like match your dress for prom or something. I love it. This is by For the Ages, which is, is a brand I've never heard of before, but I'm definitely going to be um, keeping my eye on them because I love this. It's kind of tiny. It doesn't fit like a whole bunch of stuff, but just uh, enough of the necessary things. And I like that it's a shoulder bag, so it fits like right under the shoulder, or right under the armpit, I mean. And I love it, I'm obsessed with it. I literally keep showing everybody that like, I come in contact with, I'm like, look at my purse. I'm obsessed with it, even Ted likes it, isn't that right? What? My purse. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and the last thing I wanna show you that I got are these rings that I'm wearing. But these are from Wolf Circus. Have you guys heard of that jewelry brand before? I had never heard of them and they reached out to me and asked if they, and you know, if they could send me some things. I checked out their website and I was like, oh my God, they're so cute. So I got these two rings because I saw like one of the models had these stacked together and I thought that was so cute. Um, you guys know I tend to love like really dainty jewelry that I can like keep on at all times but I really like the option of like you know throwing on something a little bit chunkier for the day and it's just been like lifting up my mood to have like a little bit of something chunky on my finger they're like really unevenly hammered same thing with the silver um and they look good by themselves too I really like had I really wanted them for my pointer finger but <laughs> fingers are goddamn huge i also got this ring which i haven't oops, which i haven't worn yet but it's so pretty i've been wanting a ring like this for so long it has these multicolored stones so that would look good stacked too or just by itself cute oh maybe i'll wear this right now anyway that's all i have new right now but i just really wanted to show you guys because um, you know, I try to show Ted and you know, he does a really good job of acting like he cares. Don't get me wrong, but what? I <laughs> Nothing. I just really want to show someone who I like is into it, you know, so oh, I'm kind of feeling that I'm gonna wear this right now, too Okay, I'm gonna go put this stuff away Day two come on
Jared's dream car that he's buying today. You've wanted this car for how long? Ten years. Ten years. Maybe my whole life. Yeah, he's been saving up for this dream car. You currently drive a 98... A 1998 Toyota Camry. He drives a 98 Camry that's like basically a box of wheels. It's falling apart. It stalls out all the time. And it only it, it has trouble turning over, but once it's on, <laughs> we're good to go. This is what I've been dealing with. So he's upgrading to yes. a 97 yes. Jeep. And uh, this is his dream car. So no features. Just, no features. Just a vroom vroom, a pie car with the trunk. I wouldn't call it a trunk. A big boy. Mind. Oh, what is it? Like a hatchback? Yeah, it's like a rear cargo area. For all our cargo needs? Yeah. You're gonna fall in love with this thing too. Alright. What up? <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh wait, this is bad. The lighting. Oh, the lighting. Alright, let's see it. Here it is. The dream car. <laughs> oh man, this is like... What would what would a uh, ten year old Ted be saying right now? About time. <laughs> All right, let's see. Roll down the window. Let's see how you look. Oh yeah. Need a ride? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is nice. You can definitely see. Wait, babe, you don't need to put the seatbelt on for a photo. Oh, man. Hey, whoa, 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 where are you going, where are you going? Babe? Babe? All right, I'll catch you later. Babe, get back here. Oh my God. I just went to Target for a heated blanket and got a lot more than that. But I did get the heated blanket. It's freaking freezing. You know, I've been blasting the heat and now my sinuses are fricked up and my ears clogging off and on for like two weeks. Um, so I, I also had to get a humidifier. Um, so yeah, I got the, the blanket to, so that I can turn the heat down and the humidifier so that I can breathe. You know, I was thinking, more people should steal, you know? Like, <laughs> this is a joke, by the way, legally. Um, but like, and I'm not talking about from like individual people or like small businesses, but like I'm talking about like, major corporations like like big ones like um or like or like you guys know what i'm saying you know because capitalism also because you know so so often we're made to feel guilty for and we do right we feel guilty for just continuing to line the pockets of the rich um, but at the same time, sometimes we don't have like much of a choice, you know, as consumers when we need to buy something at a lower cost. So I think I found the, the solution and you guys, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, it was a joke, but I'm, if it wasn't, I'm talking like essential items that should be free. And could be <laughs> free. Um, you know, tampons, toilet paper, baby formula, a sweater. <laughs> anyway, I don't know, it's just a thought I was having because I'm sitting here, I bought my stuff and I'm like, well this fucking sucks. I had to buy like four bras. Because, you know, I, I got that Skims one, and I love it, but I can't get all my bras Skims. Let's be real. I get these. Wizard. I get these. 
these are my faves and I don't take care of them and they don't last very long so I literally buy them every year but it's the Auden Demi Coverage Unlined they're my fave and they should be free <laughs> anyway I got some cute underwear too I'm just gonna do a little haul got these jockey retro underwear retro vibes they were three for 18. Look at these cute ones. Speckled. Or is it gonna focus? Look at that, cute. So I needed some like cheaper ones to go with the expensive skin ones because I'm not made of money. <laughs> Maybe I would be if I slip these into my, I'm just kidding you guys. I also got this sweater. <laughs> I did buy this. Um, here's my receipt. Um, but look at how cute this was. This is in the pajama section. But like, who wears a sweater to bed? I thought this was really cute. Good lounge sweater with like some leggings. Feels like a blanket. Peanut butter M&Ms. What else did I get? Oh, I got a new cup because I love this thing and I just broke mine. I got some chocolate almond milk because I saw someone drink it on TikTok and I thought yeah and then I got some drawer organizers for my nightstand and that's it I'm gonna try some of this Ted's out of town for the weekend so you know what that means Okay. Ugh. All right. I guess I'm gonna go put all this crap away. I just set up my wheel. I haven't thrown since March, which is eight months. That's the longest I've ever gone since I started throwing and I'm a little scared. I don't know how this is going to go. I don't know if I still got it. I was expecting me to be a little rusty. Um, I still have some clay. It's a little dry so I might have some trouble centering but I figure I'm nervous. I don't know why. Here goes nothing. It doesn't look that bad, but it didn't go great. Okay, so I didn't film for a couple days. Normally I finish the vlog on Sunday, so this one's a little bit different, but I have some crazy news. The reason I didn't film the past couple days is because I was really busy um, buying a new car. You guys. I don't even seem like that high energy because I am so tired. I was in the dealership for 
so many hours yesterday. It's been like a long running joke I feel like on my channel, at least just with me, that like my car is a piece of shit. Um, I've never had a nice car, like ever, ever. But I've needed a new car for a long time. But I didn't get one because at my last place it was street parking only and in a neighborhood where street parking was so, so difficult. So I was like, I'm not gonna buy a car and then, you know, park it on the street and risk it being damaged. So I always was like, I'm not gonna get a new car until I have a parking spot or a driveway. But yeah, since we moved, I had no excuse anymore, but I still kept managing to put it off because I'm like, well, I gotta get the house together and we just spent so much money moving and blah, blah, blah. But, Ted's, this is like now the car buying vlog, but anyway, yeah, Ted's excitement and, you know, motivation with buying his dream car just kind of gave me the push I needed to. I just was kind of intimidated I'd never bought a car before, so once he did, got his, I was like, okay. Like, I always was like, maybe I'll run my car, like, into the ground, like, as soon as it, like, breaks down, like, it has over 200,000 miles on it, like, it's very old, so I was like, once it falls apart that's when i'll get a new one but then i you know the more i thought about it, the more i'm like i don't really want to be in a desperate situation buying a new car so i was like i'll just have a look-see and so i just started looking and i didn't think i'd buy one so soon but yesterday at one of the dealerships i was at just the right car and the right you know deal i ended up walking out with a new it's not a new Prius, it's new to me. It's a 2019, but like, that's basically new. I wasn't really looking to buy a brand new car, I just, for me, I didn't see the point. You can get like a barely used car for significantly cheaper. But yeah, this is crazy. I've never had a car payment before, so that's a little bit scary, but weirdly grown up, I guess. Um, I have a Prius, I can't believe it. I literally am driving a car in this decade. I've never been able to say that before. I'm kind of like afraid of this car. I've never had to care about my car before and so now I'm like, don't nobody look at it or touch it. Here she is in all her glory. I don't wanna show you too much cause I'm out front of my house, but. Okay you guys, I wish you could smell what I'm smelling because, oh God. Because what I'm, sm <laughs> all right. We gotta figure out some filming angles in here. What I'm smelling is new car smell. Even though it's like lightly used, it still has that new car smell. I'm obsessed with it. Not to bore you with all the logistics, but I really wanted something, first of all, that had all the features that I wanted. You know, I want the like, I wanna be able to like work my music like on the steering wheel and not have to like keep looking at my phone. I wanna be able to like see when someone's calling me. I have CarPlay. And then there's a lot of like safety features. Like with the car, the older I got, and I don't know if this is like true for everyone, but for me, the older I got, the more scared I got driving, um, especially on the highway. You know, when I was younger, I was someone that was like always in this fast lane going like 60, 70 miles per hour with like no fear in the world. Now I'm like driving like a grandma on the highway, just like terrified that I'm gonna get in an accident. I ended up going with this car because it has like all those safety features. Like first of all, there's like airbags all over the place. It has the blind spot indicators and things like that. So I feel like really safe in here. But for fun, I also got heated seats and a heated steering wheel. Who knew that they needed that? I certainly didn't. I can't believe it. I'm just like, every five seconds, I'm like, Teddy, you need me to run an errand? You need me to go? I'll go right down to CVS if you need something. <laughs> Not that everybody, hasn't seen a Prius before, but like, you know, but look at it. There's my charging dock. There's my little ding, ding, ding. These things are so weird. I'm still not used to that because I'm just like, wait, where's the thing? And it's like, JK, it's right here. So now Ken and I both have our dream cars. His is a Jeep to go so he can drive off the road. Mine's a Prius so that I can not die in a car crash. You know, we all have our dreams. But, okay. Anywho, that's the big news. My neighbor's looking at me. He sees me. Hey. I hate my life. Um, that's the big news. So, 
yeah, big car vlog this week. So I'm gonna end this vlog now since it's Monday and I gotta start the new week's vlog, which will be all about cruising around town. Just kidding. Um, okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.